In a devastating turn of events for the United States women's national soccer team, forward Katarina Macario will miss the 2024 Olympics due to a knee injury. USWNT head coach Emma Hayes described the injury as knee irritation that flared up during training this week, ruling out the talented forward from the upcoming games, replacing Macario on the roster will be Lynn Williams, a seasoned forward who played in the Tokyo 2021 Olympics and the 2023 World Cup. Emily Sams, a defender who has been training with the USWNT, will take Williams' place as one of the four alternates. These changes are pending approval from the International Olympic Committee, United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee, and FIFA, as the deadline for final rosters has already passed. She's devastated, Hayes said about Macario's condition. It's not a long-term situation, she just won't recover in time. I'm absolutely gutted for Kat. She's worked incredibly hard over the past year, but it's just not meant to be. Macario will return to London to receive treatment with her club, Chelsea. Hayes noted that Macario had been experiencing irritation leading up to the training session that aggravated her knee. This injury is another setback for Macario, who tore her ACL in May 2022 while playing for Lyon, sidelining her for a year and a half. She missed the 2023 World Cup as a result but made her comeback with Chelsea earlier this year. She returned to the USWNT in April during the She Believes Cup, marking her first national appearance in two years. Macario expressed her disappointment on social media, writing, gutted to have to withdraw from the Olympic roster and not be able to represent Team USA. I will be supporting the team every step of the way and the girls are ready. Redheart Williams, empathetic towards her teammate, expressed mixed emotions about the situation. I think two things can be possible at one time. You can be devastated for a teammate and also excited for yourself at the same time," she said. But right now, I'm not necessarily thinking, oh, I'm excited for myself. I'm thinking, how can I help the team? What does the team need from me? Hayes emphasized the team's need to adapt without Macario. I always viewed it as 22, and with the rule changes, absolutely nothing changes," she explained. What does change is that without Kat, I have to think about some different permutations for the team, which I've already reflected on. The former Chelsea coach highlighted Williams' experience as a valuable asset for the team. I'm sort of a straight-up person, and she's a straight-up person, so it works really well," Hayes said. She's been here before and can handle whatever's there. She will always remind me her job is to make my life difficult. As the USWNT prepares for the Olympics, they faced their first major tournament under Hayes' leadership with only two tune-up matches before their opener against Zambia in Nice on July 25. The tournament's structure includes a round-robin group stage followed by a knockout round, with the United States competing in Group B alongside Zambia, Germany, and Australia. The road to Olympic gold begins on July 25, with the quarterfinals on August 3, semifinals on August 6, and the finals in Paris on August 10.